What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more Once Human. Today, we are uh, picking up where we left off. We've got some quests to do. I am actually going to try going down to this area. So at the end, or like actually kind of towards the beginning of the last stream, we uh, got it. We spoke to a few quests that gave us, you got to go to Myers Market. Now, this area is recommended level 14, and I'm currently level 12. Um, I did spend some time doing some of the, the extra area, so we went and explored here. Uh, this location got two fast travel towers, and then that was kind of it. But my goal here is to at least just get to this location, unlock the fast travel point, see what the level of items around us. Like, if this is level 12-ish, then I'll do that. Uh, if it's not, or if it's level, like, 14 or higher, or if I'm just struggling... And we might come back up here and knock out some other stuff because, like, this is level 7. There's another one that's level 8 and so on. Um, so that's the goal. That's what we're going to aim for. If you guys enjoy this, again, leave a like on the videos. Make a huge difference. Thank you for all the previous support. I appreciate all the uh, likes. You've been absolutely demolishing the 20 like goal. So let's see if we can hit, I don't know, 30 or more. That's kind of what we've been hitting just about, but then it just exceeds it. So we'll see. Before we head out, though, uh, I finally, like literally right before I started recording this one, I came back to my base. I crafted a new face mask. So that way I have that and I'm not wearing the default one anymore. And I kind of want to try crafting this chest piece, which I think I have enough for. The only thing is I need, uh, wait, where is it? That's tier two, that's why. The only thing though is I need to get uh, some hide. So I know there was some animals right here a second ago. Oh yeah, and if you haven't seen the last episode, uh, what happened is I guess after some time, if you're offline or a decent amount or if they have like a big update in the game, it moves your your houses. So a lot of the houses that are around me or were around me originally are no longer here. Um, so I was able to get my, my home or my little base a little bit closer to the objective that's over there. Not by much, but a little bit. Just a little. I'm gonna do this hunting real quick, I'm so sorry. I know, I feel bad. Especially for the little one. Okay. It's gonna be okay. But. Get that. Yeah, I feel like this one should give you at least like two or three. One hide per deer is kind of low in my opinion. Oh, okay. That one did give me two, actually. All right. I'll get a little bit more. Okay, there's so many right there. They're all going down. One of them despawn. Go live. Live your life. That one gave me one. one there too yeah kind of unfortunate how long it takes for you to get hide the one other thing before we head out to that location i just need to make sure that the uh my bike has fuel in it because right now uh the last time i was driving it didn't really have much fuel left so not sure how that works but i guess we'll find out yeah gas tank size Repair. All right, we've repaired it. Completed a journey. Facilitate. Formal fortification that blocks attacks. All right, let me see what else. Let's see if we can craft this now. So we're going to do tier one. It's a little bit better than what I'm currently wearing, but um, what about the pants, actually? 
The, the one thing I don't like is there's no comparison. Am I wearing... Hold on. Before I do that, what am I wearing right now? 140, 149, 140, 140, 170. Wait, so I don't think... This stuff might not be any better. If I craft it right now... I don't think it's going to be any better than what I'm currently using. Eighty. Oh no, it will be. Wait, that's tier two. Never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold off <laughs> for right now because I. Uh, yeah, I still don't think we've got enough to do all that. All right, let's try t tracking this task. And we'll follow that objective there. Let me untoggle that. Investigate two deviations, then talk to low. Well, let me just see what quest that is. Doesn't seem to be showing me an objective there. Okay. Go down here. See what happens. My bike is also going to run out of fuel, so we'll see what happens there. Or if I, I don't know if I have like extra fuel on me, technically. We got a nice little horn but okay we are making our way down to broken delta see what it's like once we get there but yeah like, like i said i, I want to see what the objectives nearby like if the town nearby is like level 10 ish or so like 12 i'll probably do that if not then vehicle fuel depleted okay add fuel Oh, here we go. That's how you do it. Ooh, you can set how much you want to use. All right, we'll do that. Fuel is added back up on it. My guy's a little thirsty. Drink up. Okay, that's pretty easy then. I'm assuming you just get more fuel from being out in the world and, and stuff too. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I've seen these little houses too and you can actually get minions or, or something that will go out and collect items for you. And then bring them back to your house like that. That's so cool. I love that. Not sure what level that thing's gonna be, but I'm just gonna go ahead and drive past it. Oh. I think I was supposed to take a left there, but that's fine. It'll just reroute. What is that? That scream? <laughs> I just want to get to the base first and then I'll, then I'll figure this out. Follow the safe road for a bit. Bunch of animals just spawned right there. Oh, does that person have a car? What, what is that? Hold it right there and identify yourself. Hey, yo, can't you see them mayfly? You ever hear the mayflies? I'm here to solve problems, not cause them. Oh, yeah. You've got one of those weird backpacks. It looks very uh, similar to me. Cradle, right? We had another one of you guys come by here not too long ago. He didn't exactly impress anyone. So, you're here to clean up his mess? 
We've got a pretty urgent Stardust problem. But how do I know you'll actually help? Can't pro promise anything, but I'll try if you let me in. I can't make any promises if I don't know what's going on. It's like going to the doctor. You gotta diagnose the illness before you can solve it. Well, at least you're a better talker than that last mayfly. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna check with the mayor. I'm right here. Let the mayfly in. Understood, ma'am. Damn, how'd she miss that? <laughs> okay. Follow Maxie and talk to her. Let's see, what was the location that we just drove past? So, I drove past this thing. Level 11. Nice. Level 13. Okay. All right. All right. We've got some stuff that are closer to my level right here. And not too much higher. Which is good. The quest down here, level 12. We're on par for that. This is level 12. All right, cool. Yeah, I guess you don't really have to do every, every like... A yes, I, I would have been over level for this stuff up here, which is seven and eight, but we'll see if it's on, you know, how difficult it is actually going up against my level stuff. You're the mayor? Maxi Rodriguez. I'm the mayor here. All right, I like it. I'm a mayfly. You've probably never heard of me, but I heard about your town when I was traveling north. You've got something strange going on here? Strange is putting it lightly. It's been about half a year now. Pregnant animals here, even pregnant people, all get infected by stardust and turn into these trees. Not normal trees either. We tried everything to save them. None of it worked. You can go ahead and see for yourself. There's some strange shit, all right. Okay. Cradle override. Override now unlocked. Open the cradle screen and click the uh, button on the right to view. There you can override features that can help you in combat. Unlock the corresponding nodes to enjoy the benefit. Go the wilderness and engage in combat to unlock override features. Huh. I haven't actually looked at my cradle stuff a little bit. Oh, that's... Uh, okay. Now if we go right here. Oh, drag the override talents to their nodes on the right to acquire new talents. Oh, okay. Meet the unlock criteria to unlock more. So I can put one here now. Killing a uh, killing with a pistol refills two bullets from the inventory and grants a rate of 30% for the next two bullets. LMG reload, reload boost. Boost. Oh my god, I can't speak. Sorry. <laughs> uh, damage 25% for the nine seconds if the mag is over half full after a kill. Otherwise, weapon switching speed for nine seconds. Okay. Do we have anything for for bows? The crossbow. I'll take the SMG. I mean, that's what I have right now. I type, uh, hit gear. Okay. So as you can cl clear out the silos, you get more of these, and then you can equip more. That's cool. I like that. Also got some points to use right here. Uh, I might go crafting, I guess. Intermediate tools. Yeah, let's get this. Wait, why is this? This one to do the best work, synchronize all mimetic nodes and associate with the reset. Almost as if I have that one already, but then I don't have this one. All right, I'm gonna pick this up. And then 
yeah, I want to. I kind of want to get an. I, I'm a big LMG guy. I love LMGs. So I kind of want to learn that one. All right, cool. For crafting an MG, so you need to craft on a gear workbench. Cool. We got two left. I'll hold on to those. I did get some new weapons, apparently. Maybe they handed me like a crossbow. This this uh, bow is still better than the other weapons that I've got, so we keep holding on to that journey screen. Let's uh, here we go. Light mist. Weapon enthusiast achievement. Got a blueprint. Oh, okay, that's for the stuff that I just unlocked. Cradle apprentice. Got that one too. I love how rewarding it is for a lot of items that you collect and get throughout this. Like almost everything you do gives you something new. What is this? Shop? Another shop. American cabinet. Oh, okay, these are all like blueprints and stuff. All right, let me try to talk. Talk to her. Learn about the situation at Myers Market from Max D. Now, let's get down to business. We've got nowhere else to go, and so far, no one else who can solve this problem. Two months ago, a mayfly going by the name of Talon arrived. We hired him to fix the problem. Instead, he ran away with his deposit. I'm not inclined to trust any more mayflies, but I also don't have any other options. You'd better not let us down like he did. You can count on me. You have my word. I'll fix this. Is there anything else you think I should know about this case? Does that big monolith that Rosetta built count? That thing's been here about as long as me. It's been abandoned for 20 years, until all of a sudden six months ago, it lit up with a giant beam of light. Six months ago? Yep. Right around the time we started getting this tree trouble. I figured there's mm. got to be a connection between the two. But it's too dangerous around the monolith. No one can get close to there. I'll check it out then. Anywhere else I should go? Yeah. An area called High Banks, north of here. It's by the bridge and the south bank of the river. What is it? Sometimes junk or animal carcasses wash up there. So it attracts beasts and desperate people looking for food. You might find something useful there. Okay. Why do I feel like you have someone in mind? There was a woman. The town voted to kick her out. Collectively. She... Well, she was also infected. Later, deep in high banks, I saw it. Her. She didn't look like Agnes. She became something else. Something I can't describe. I think she might have been the very first to be infected. The first infected person? That sounds useful. Huh. When you say she was infected, then was she also... Pregnant? Yeah. I never said life out here was easy. Any other questions? Hey, what was up with that mayfly who came here before me? Why didn't he solve the problem? Who the hell knows? I hadn't seen a mayfly for years. Didn't even know there were any left in Nowcott. And he showed up two months ago wearing his cradle looking all gloomy. Pressed. We didn't have many other options, huh. so I asked him if he could solve our problem. He didn't say much, took some food and batteries as a deposit, then did some research. I saw him coming in and out for a few days. In the end, he crept out without saying a word. All he left behind were some ripped up notes and empty cans. Uh, notes? Wait a minute. What kind of notes? Were they research into deviations? They're full of broken symbols and jargon. Just impossible to understand. I tossed them into the corner of the market's office if you want to see them yourself. Where did he end up? He really left without a trace? Some residents saw him sneak out through the north gate before dawn. If he didn't go to that swamp you came from, then he must have gone to a settlement called Greywater northwest of here. Anyway, we never saw him again. Communications with Greywater have been cutting out recently. 
So I don't know if that son of a bitch ever passed through or not. Okay. Got a lot of information from them. Investigate the Talon's notes. I'll do it while I'm while I'm here. We're definitely gonna go out and explore some of the other like areas that we discovered, but um we can do this first. You find the belief for the belief in your heart, may we be able to help everyone with unwavering conviction. Okay. Your Hamlet told me the operation was going uh, to start, but never asked if I agreed to it. We're rangers in the wilderness. Our duty is to eliminate deviants and start us infestations to protect survivors other than their settlements. Why would the Mayflies want to invade Rosetta's domain? Investigate the abandoned hideout and look for anything unusual. Okay. What level is that? Level 12. Okay. It's, it's on par with me right now. Um... Let's see. So there's a rift point up here, up north. This is level 12 as well. That's level 12. All right. All these are pretty close to me. Now, this quest has level 14, though. Oh, there's two objectives. Meet Mary in the monolith or investigate the abandoned hideout. I probably would have investigate the abandoned hideout to be honest let's go up here though um yeah i'm gonna untoggle this for right now so that way we don't have it taking me two places at once i'm gonna go do this rift level 11 so i'm i'm one level above it and see what we get oh, there's also a side quest in here can go pick pick it up at least Oh, low. He's up here now. Wait, what's this I'll say? Dude seems shady. <laughs> Dude creeps me out. Any new jobs? Wanted another adventure? I'd come across the most fascinating bit of information. It involves Rosetta facility. It's overrun with deviants. Why do you care about this place? It's correct. Rosetta has been back here. Well, I'm interested. What's the matter? Can't enter and explore the facility. Okay. The secrets of the ruin. That one over here. It's so... I don't know. The one thing that really confuses me with this game, and that's kind of why I wanted to come down into this area is the leveling structure is very like all over the like i can't tell if i'm over leveled under leveled for a lot of things unless if you actually go there like me being level 12 right now about to be level 13 but then you look right here like yeah this is level 12 okay that's fair this is level 11 all right i'm over leveled for that that works but then you look at something like this this area is level 13 okay so i don't want to go there until i'm level 13 or around that but then if you look at the quest that's right here it's level 10 so which one is it like how is there a level 10 quest in a level 13 area unless if you just run past all the enemies and then you look over here how is there a level 14 quest with a level 12 location i i, I don't know i'm really like that's kind of why I wanted to come down here because like now I'm, I'm super over leveled for this stuff up here and there's a lot of quests kind of similar thing. Like this is level six. This is level eight. This is level seven. This is level seven as well. So I don't know. Kind of confuses me with the leveling structure, but because otherwise, I mean, if you wanted to a hundred percent this, uh, or like explore every location you'd be so over and like insanely over leveled for a lot of things which is not a bad thing like like i said kind of i don't know if i said it earlier in this one but i always prefer being over leveled for a location and all that than under level i'd rather have an easier 
path. Then have to struggle doing damage and stuff. So. But I guess we'll find out. So the, the location I'm headed towards right now for this rift is 11. And I'm about to be 13. We'll see how tough these enemies are and all that. Go explore. Why does he sound like he's got like... Uh, that was weird. I thought he was like flank, flanking around. Let me grab this. Yeah, even with me being, you know, low over level, I, I think it's because this bow is just so good. The bows just seem too good not to use them right now. You know what I just realized? I don't know if I ever picked up my bows earlier. <laughs> I think I got distracted. Or my, my arrows that I made earlier. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if I did. Oh, this objective added a... Ooh, it has two extra ones. Defeat uh, elite enemies and defeat normal enemies. I think before they're usually just find the crates. Sorry. It would be nice if there was like a... I kind of wish this game had an auto loot and stuff. Because you're constantly picking up stuff. Like, and it's not like this... It doesn't really have an issue with inventory luckily which I, I absolutely love i haven't had to like make make any crates and stuff we've just been steadily been able to pick items up and then that's it like just carry them around with you or if they maybe they do go somewhere and you just don't realize it so the quality of life in that aspect is really really nice I do wish, although I, I love using this bow, I do wish I had had a gun that was a little bit better. But maybe we just need to get to the point of I can craft it and stuff. The, the bow is really is just too good for me not to use it yet. Get them points, rift here. Oh, oh, oh I think I accidentally disliked it. Mystic chest on top of the tall building from an elevator. Ooh, woo, if you're reading this, you stinky. I'm going to like that one. Wait, what is that? Wait, that's Cinebrit? <laughs> no way. Wait, she's actually been playing this? No. If that's the Cinebrit, like Cinna from Twitch, that's kind of funny. That's so funny if I actually ran into that, if you're reading this. Okay. Anyways.
Oh, I see the items there. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be all the way up there. Jesus. Mary is huge. Vintage toy car. this ah uh, that's got to be a elite enemy over there ain't no way that's not an elite enemy right surely what oh no he goes underground Maybe not, but that, that enemy type is sick. Yeah, that was kind of cool seeing that. Wow, this, this, this area is huge. Um, hold on. Let me go check that thing again. Where's those little notes? Bring them back. I want to read the one. Oh, that's cool. You can actually download it. In the highest tower, you can use the elevator. So it's got to be that thing. Right? It, it looks like it. World tasks cannot activate. Broken. Rift. I think there's a rift here. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing that's that's got to be it, right? They're all saying you can use an elevator, so let's see if we can find the elevator. Some of these enemies I might just start running past because I don't know. Depends on who it is. So yeah, all we need to find is the mystic crate and one weapon and gear crate, which that might be one. I'm not sure if the, uh, the colors for like crates and stuff differenti differentiate them like is this one considered a weapon and gear crate or is that just okay is it blue maybe it's blue because it has a blue item in it okay not over here Oh, here's the elevator. Ah, okay. All right, all right, I see. And there's also a thing right down there. Oh God. Got like an engine head. I don't like, ew, 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 ew. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like how his, his like chest is open like that. That makes me like feel not gross. Uh, yeah, I I don't like how you can see into it and like that. Ah, oh, it's giving me shivers. <laughs> it's not even that bad too, which is just like we it's just the 
it's not like gory or anything, right? It's just like a weird, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Nice. AKM, we got that. Weapons, chest, climb, climb, climb. You can do it. Oh. Man, I, I feel like I have chat with me right now because, yeah, here we are. Oh, no. There's that guy. Hate that thing. Ms. Hans told me the detail story of the Sutherland chemical plant. She worked there as a warehouse survivor. <clears throat> supervisor when the starfall hit and somehow managed to survive the initial attack by the great one along with these several colleagues but what happened after was is not that easy to write the plant workers were desperate and scared they blamed the factory owners for the attack whoa uh the workers driven the madness by their fear lynched the plants managers brothers nelson and donald sutherland and then they turned their uncontrollable anger at the rest of the Sutherland family, men, women, and children. No one was spared. Jeez. More than 10 years, Miss Hanna is still on the verge of tears as she told me this story. She said after witnessing all that destruction, she left the plant alone and headed to the wilderness on foot. Somehow, despite the stardust and the circle in grade one, she managed to survive. Miss Hans has never set foot in a chemical plant again since. Nor does she want, oh, I want to know what happened to the other workers. No trace of life on the plant now, but from now on, uh, from what they left behind, it seems Miss Hand was right. A group of humans used the place to shelter after the starfall. It looks like they managed to hold on for two years, one year, maybe even less. And it's easy to see why. There wasn't much in the way of food stores and land around the plant. It's completely barren even now. The poison of stardust runs deep. Damn. Yeah, that's that's rough. That's rough. Well, we cleared out this area. Which is kind of cool. Nice uh, view of the area, too. Did I grab everything here? Oh, it was just my arrows. Cool. Let's see. So we got another one over there. Level 13. That's what I currently am. Also got this down here. First, first, level 12. Oh, there's a lighthouse down here. I liked the other uh, lighthouse, like the island that I went to earlier. That was kind of cool. Have a look around Myers Mark, uh, Market. This is a side quest for that. All right, let's go back down, down the elevator. And then I'm thinking about going down here. I mean, this is level 13, which is fine. Let's actually go to, yeah, let's go clear this and then this, and then we'll wrap back around. And then if we clear everything there, then we'll make our way up here. Cause then at that point, it should be a little bit higher level. Yeah, I like that. I like that route. Go check out this. Oh. Oh. Let me pull my bike out once I get into a safe spot. Excuse me, coming through. Okay, let me see. So we need to get all the way over there. I want to untoggle this. Should go left right here. I keep trying to, to hit the the icon to go down there, but it doesn't seem to be working. Let me check this area. I haven't really gone to like these little 
areas or locations. See, this is what's also confusing, right? This whole district is about level 12. It says Broken Delta is level 12. This thing right here is level 9. So... Which is it? A lot of stuff here. Good thing is you get a lot of items here though, which is nice. Oh. Now the game made me, it, it forced me to move my location last time. I wonder what happens. Like, I, I'm not sure how you uh, move your base somewhere else by yourself without the game forcing you to do so. See, what do we got here? Oh, gross. Okay, collect everything we can. Stop. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know you could do that. I don't know what what that noise is, but it sounds like there's like something going on over there. All right, back on the bike. Can I set a marker to that yet? No? Huh. Yeah, I, I can't wait for the full release of this game. It, it's definitely gonna be a good time. And when it does come out, I'm probably gonna do live streams of it instead of just uh, the videos like I have been. I mean, to be honest, this, uh, I've kind of said it a few times now, but this really was just a test trial. Like, I was just going to test the game. Okay, cool. See how it is. Like, and then it, it started doing way better, way more than I anticipated it to be. And then here we are. Um, but definitely every time I have been playing, I, I've been excited to go back. And play more i was a little nervous because it's been a few days since i last played so uh, it's always an adjustment getting used to controls again but it, it's not too bad hey, this one's not um not not terrible there's somebody else's bike here Keep running to the top. A Union Explorer's unfinished trip to an uncharted isle. I guess it's worth giving it a shot. Mm. These notes should serve as a helpful guide. Place my hope in the hands of you, future explorer. I'm Captain Denise Cooper, an adventurer from the Union. So this is the the person that keeps yeah every single note that I find is from Denise Cooper. Is that the person previous to me? Unfinished exploration. Love potato fries from a Brazilian gamer girl. Have a great day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to fly like an eagle. 
Wanna fly like a needle. Yeah, I I wish you could uh could run into more players. It, it feels like a lot of the instances are very very. Um, I mean, maybe there's more popular instances. If I went to a uh, a teleportation tower, so if you go to one of those, you're able to switch your world instance. You have your server, and then. Aside from the server, you have the world instance. Oh, we got stuff in here. I never really checked the cars. Photo calls three. Stand here and send the camera until the bull appears. Take photo. <laughs> For sale 2015. Chevrolet Camaro, 15k miles, slightly used, 5,000. That's good. Oh, they're at 69. I want to give them a like, but I'm going to leave them there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I don't know if that counted. Stand here and center camera until the, I don't know if it needs to face that way or this way. Oh, stand here, look for angry Red Bull, and take pick. Scenic wonder. Can I hide the uh, HUD? Oh, that's kind of cool. Whoa, I didn't know you could do this. That looks great. I don't see any bull. Okay. Well, either way, that was that was kind of cool. A little cozy right there. All right, let's see. What do we got now? Let's go down to this area. Oh. Oh, that's... Huh. I wonder if I can get to it from this route. It doesn't seem that far out. Start taking a shortcut. I mean, if we, if we followed the main road, it wouldn't be too bad, but yeah, it looks like it's right there. The guy's sanity is really dropping right now. Okay, and cool. stop right here wild at heart take this take that use this 
I'm gonna drink some water. Organic but toxic. What is this? Is that an alligator? Oh, I'm trying to pull my weapon out. Oh god, it is. Eclipse crocodile. Oh, it's a crocodile. Gotta be careful here. <laughs> it looks like it's a little dangerous. Got water all over it too. Oh god, I saw another one. Let's grab this. See what the notes nearby say. Oh, uh oh. Hold. Everything is at the dock past this. Official everything is past the bridge to the left of the house and the ship carefully. Umbrella guy. Official, wait. Treasure map. Everything is past the bridge to the left. Umbrella guy is there for everyone under level eight and remember. Oh, like freaking out. Treasure chest, look left. Chest is on the ship at the end of the dock. Go across the bridge and turn left. Oh, past the ship. Okay, cool. Ship at the end of the dock. Go to past the bridge and turn left. Hi. Oh, oh, it's really struggling with reading this. Uh-oh. Is it, is it done? Oh, there we go. Caught up. Extra gear crate on the top of the ship. Look behind. Picture. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Somehow I keep hitting the first one. All right, so somebody was saying that there's one right here. Water is sounded very weird right now. I don't know if they were saying it's that house or this house. All right, let's go across the bridge. We'll go to the ship by the dock. Two at the dock and one on top of the building. Look at photos. They didn't attack any, attach any photos, though. <laughs> Boat is a waste of time. No reason to board it. Boat you want is straight down the bridge on the left. Big boat, there's one. Oh, I see. There's a dock. Yep. Okay. Let's see what this one says. Do not kill the umbrella lady too quickly. It will not count for quest progression. 
Umbrella Lady has three tracking umbrellas that do constant damage. Good luck. Whoa. I think I see Umbrella Lady. Ma'am, you are getting destroyed right now. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. So am I. So am I, it seems. Where'd she go? She's immune. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I can't get them. I'm out of arrows. Bro, what is happening? <laughs> Getting destroyed. Oh, I used the wrong one. Holy. I almost killed her. But then she disappeared. Yo, this is crazy right now. Holy. Back here, umbrella lady. No. She's so immune. Oh, there she is. Got her. Holy. Wait, it didn't count. It didn't count. I know they said something, but what did they say? Uh, okay. The Umbrella Corporation. Uh, Leap on spawns here. Hope this helps. Be careful. She's tough for low levels. He was actually pretty tough. What did the person say? Brother girl? Somebody said it won't count for the quest. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't count. Takes about five to ten to spawn here. Oh, they have the same thing twice. Where was the message? Has three tracking umbrellas that do constant damage. Okay, I don't know. I killed, I did kill her, but one of the things said umbrella lady blah 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 quest and it didn't count for the elite quest a <laughs> wrench nice found the mystical crate I'm also completely out of arrows right now, so that's great. Right down the stairs to your left. Oh, I see it. Hell yeah. Melee amplifier. Nice. Okay. Oh, all we need to do is kill enemies now. Not bad. 
not bad at all. All right, I'm going to pause for one second here. All right. Now, you guys didn't see anything, but I paused for a second there, did something, and I'm back. So, man, I don't know what, what elite enemy we would have to kill now, though. And I also kind of want to get a... Yeah, kind of want to get some more arrows, too. But is there a fast travel tower around here? And the, the objective is pretty close by. Not too bad. Feels different actually using a gun for once. Definitely takes a bit more time to to reload and everything too. Kinda like the sound effects too. The click when you're out of ammo is kind of uh, satisfying in a way. I don't, I don't know how to explain. I like it. Got a storage crate in here. We killed all is all I Oh, Jesus Christ. I did not like that. <laughs> That kind of got me for a second. I just need to kill one uh, enemy now. One elite enemy, that is. Hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't count for me when I did that thing earlier. Kind of unfortunate. Can I... Let's fast travel back to my, my home world. Or, I mean, my... My little base. That looks very sick. Wait, you can actually shoot off your bike, too? Huh. Made it back to the territory. Let me get rid of... Yeah, we've got so much stuff right now. That's probably... Meant to obtain a large amount of materials. Get rid of stuff that we're not using, too. Like, that's subject to subject test. Test. Okay. Oh. Hold on, let me see. Can I craft it? Oh, I need bronze. Crafting a furnace. What about this? Bronze, bronze, bronze. What about the tier one weapon? What do you need for bronze? Copper ore, tin ore, and charcoal. Oh, they did give me a second bow. Where do we craft the... the right here? 
Yes, it is. Here it is. Uh, wait, do I already have a copper pickaxe? I might have crafted one last time. Let me check. We got a new face mask too. Oh no, the one I have. The backpack. Bird pickaxe. No, I didn't make a copper pickaxe. Let's make one. And then where's the copper arrows? We need more logs to make more. Okay. Let me actually see how much I have and I'll collect this. Where'd they? Copper arrows, here they are. That'll make 10. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we use this. Okay, this is the copper pickaxe now. I think. I don't know what the difference is. Unless if you just like collect more from doing it. I'm getting 10 per hit. Let me see what happens if I go over here and use this one. No, still got like 13, 12. Oh, you do get a little bit more. Okay, so it's the same amount of time, but you just get some more. Because the other one would give me like 12, 13, and then using the copper gives you 16, 17. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like how they do that. Wrapped in the furnace. I've got plenty of copper. I need charcoal. I need charcoal you get from this. Let's go 60. Might go even more to be honest because I have so many. Is there anything else we want to make here? It's assembly bench. Who is that one? Functional. Yeah, this guy. I think I wanted to make some more of those, but I forget. It seems more like a runic portal. It contains gifts that one cannot refuse. Huh. All right, I think the first one is done. Yep. Cool. Let's make 60. Just make all the copper ingot that we can. What is this? The goddess herself. Wow, this build is so great. <laughs> Test high other. <laughs> I rent owns this house. Drop me. <laughs> I think these were here prior to me putting my stuff down. And now that it now that I have it here. Yeah. Hello, first home. Hey, Nabil, thank you for the sub there on YouTube. Even though I'm not live streaming right now, alerts still come through. So if you get lucky, sometimes your uh, your pop-up will still show up. 
since I'm uh, recording at the time of this. The number of players that actually care about what you have to say is smaller than you. You, you know what? Say hello to your one viewer for me. Heck. <laughs> Tarantula. Damn. Didn't have to roast him. What do you do? What do you do to him? All right, let's make a bunch more. Cue all this up. Okay. I think I might make some boiled water because we're kind of low right now. Grilled mushrooms. It's doing a little bit of management right now. Functional, we got that. Stardust, okay. Oh, wow. Holy. Jeez, I didn't expect it to give you a hundred like that. That's kind of crazy. That gives you a lot. Angler. Craft a fishing rod. Go to supplies workbench and press F to open the crafting screen. Can I craft a fishing rod? Need copper for it. Curiosity catcher. Got some boiled water. Let's roast some meat. Crocodile's uh, meat is fatty, but it tastes okay if you cook it right. Damn, it's still going. Another two minutes. Can I collect what's been done so far? Yeah, you can. All right, sweet. Um, what was I doing this for? Copper arrows. That's what it was. I think this, this will make me 35. Damn. Let me grab some more, more of this. Let's actually, check this car. I'll knock down like these few trees, and then we'll go back. Yeah, it, it goes up quick now. I'm already up to 200 logs, 250. Holy, 300, 400, damn, I need to chop down like five trees. I don't, this isn't going to give me tin, right? If I, oh, this is sulfur. It's just a regular rock. Just give me gravel. Yeah. If I ever see, oh nice, you got some fuel. Thirsty bike, drunk gas. Yeah, I have so much copper, we're not gonna need some for a while. I've been collecting it so often. All right, roasted meats. I'll make some more copper arrows. Adrenaline shot. I could make this booster thing. Complete season goals. Wow, you're kidding this whole time? <laughs> No way. I have other stuff to redeem too. Wow. 
Transfer across seasons. What's this one? Tyrantula lies. lies. That's mine. Go build your own base. <laughs> I think it's all because they they're all on different servers too. Yeah, Starlight F, Starlight C. I'm pretty sure I'm on Starlight. Uh, what am I on? I that might be on C or E or something or M. One of those. All right, we got all this. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave this episode right here. So if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like on it. Uh, as always, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I am going to try to prioritize putting out some more. Um, some of these will, will go up over the weekend because uh, I'm going to be doing some stuff on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter because by this point, that episode will already be up. But, yeah, I'm going to try to work on some more. So hopefully by the time this one goes up, I'm already have some other ones ready to go. So if you guys enjoy it, leaving a like makes a huge difference. Stop by the live stream. I go live around 5.30 p.m. Eastern weekdays, 9 a.m. Eastern on weekends. Uh, feel free to join the Discord if you want announcements anytime videos go live or whenever I go live. And that's it. So see you all in the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.